Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We got another shit I never knew video for you. This one's gonna be putting a microscope to um, polished wheels. So hopefully what you guys have noticed from us is our thing is to try to give you as much information in these, in these videos, even if sometimes it kind of, you know, backs us up against the wall or makes us look like the bad guys or the industry look like the bad guys or the manufacturers look like the bad guys. But the truth is the truth, and you guys are gonna see this stuff anyway, so we found that it helps to just share it and then um, pull, pull your reactions and kind of see what you think about it. But we're just gonna be honest, 100% uh, right now. So I've got an American Force wheel here, and then I've got a Fuel Forged wheel. Both of these wheels are polished wheels. So over there is a Hostile. That is a chrome-plated wheel. So that one means that they made an aluminum wheel, they dipped it in a big tank, of liquid chrome or however the hell they do it. I'm sure there's a charge involved, blah, blah. And they multi-plate chrome it. So there's a chrome coating over the entire wheel. It's protected. A forged polished aluminum wheel is not protected. This is raw aluminum right at the surface. And that's where the maintenance comes in and some of the imperfections come in or perceived imperfections. So this is an, a brand new American Force wheel. It's never been mounted. It literally came out of the box and has been sitting in a showroom. And what you'll see is because it's collected some dust, because we don't go and clean this thing constantly because you're just gonna be adding to those micro scratches, but because it collected the dust, you can start to see some of the imperfections and scratches sneaking out. And then what'll happen is somebody will walk up because people love to touch things and they'll just rub it right there. And they'll just rub it to feel it or see what it looks like. And you'll see that it's gonna add those micro scratches to the surface. And all that is is these little dust particles are getting rubbed into it. So that can happen on the edges. If you ever look at the edge all the way around the wheel, the, the protective cover that's on here, any little tiny pieces of dust that were between that cover and this, as it you know rides in the UPS truck, it's gonna rub on that, on that cover up against the cardboard and then on that protective cover. So it puts these little tiny micro scratches in here. Some of these are even just from the CNC machining process of actually making the wheel. You're gonna get those milling marks and those micro scratches. And then once they make it, they come by with a machine and they're doing a lot of uh, machine driven buffing and polishing to get these things to a mere finish. Well, that's gonna leave these little tiny marks in the grain that basically once it starts to collect either dust or even from weather change. So this one is a fuel forge wheel. What I wanna show you is it's pretty much the same no matter um, which manufacturer you go with, you're gonna see that. So this one you can see in the barrel because these wheels came in on a nice cold Wisconsin day. As they sit here and they went from warm to cold to warm to cold, the condensation or the moisture gets on here and it just starts to kind of oxidize that aluminum and bring forward, I don't know if oxidize is the right word, I'm not building that a science guy, I'm telling you what I know. It brings forward those marks. So all you have to do, and I would never do this, I would go to a professional, but what most guys will do is they'll take, take something like our metal polish, the floss gloss, They'll put it on a really high-end microfiber and they'll get in here and they'll start hand polishing that. And a lot of times it'll take that little bit of haze off if it's not too bad. If it's anything severe or they're actual scratches and marks, you've got to get with a professional polisher, especially on such an expensive wheel. And they're going to go in there, they're going to use multiple pads, multiple compounds, and they're literally going to start removing metal to get rid of those micro scratches because that's what you're doing. Because this is raw exposed aluminum, they're literally going in there and removing metal. So the reason we wanted to make this video, and one other tip is, you know, we've got these cheap shop microfibers that we use to do our painted wheels or um, even our trucks, and they work just fine for a painted surface. This cheap microfiber like this would be entirely too coarse to ever use on a polished wheel because these little beads on here are enough to leave even more micro scratches. So one of the reasons that we don't mess with it when we're shipping them to you guys, whether you buy them from us or buy them from the next guy, when they do mount and balance, they're not gonna get done mounting and balance it and go through and polish this thing because odds are they're not equipped and we're not equipped to give it that absolute perfect mirror finish. It's better for you to do that if you want it to that level of detail. So if you look really close, you're gonna see on the blades, 
you're gonna see in the barrel that a lot of those scratches or uh, imperfections will start to come to the surface or be visible, I should say, because of any kind of dust, any kind of condensation, any kind of temperature change is just starting to add that little bit of cloud. And that is the life of a polished wheel. There's no way around it. No matter who you buy them from, that's what it's gonna look like. And the reason we wanted to bring this up is, you know, you spent a lot of money on these. I mean, that package is a six, $7,000 package, maybe even 8,000 because it's humongous. You know, American Force setup is gonna be four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for the wheels also. So when you get them, you're like, oh my God, in the pictures, they were absolutely perfect and it was a mere finish and I could see myself in them. Now I've got these fingerprints where there was mounting and balancing and I've got these scuffs in the face of it. All of that comes right out with a professional polish. And the guys that really, really care, the SEMA builders, the guys that are really big into the show scene, they either become proficient and really good at polishing and that's why they can handle these wheels and have them look perfect, or they find somebody that they know a friend or a company or work with somebody and they end up having them professionally polished on a regular basis, or they accept the fact that if you're gonna run giant polished wheels that are gonna have gravel and dust and everything rolling around in there, and if you're gonna go to a show and grab some of this stuff and just do a quick wipe down, you're putting all that, you know, the micro dust and all that right into that wheel, you just accept the fact that you're gonna have that little bit of cloud to them and that they're gonna not be absolutely perfect. Because like I said, this is literally raw aluminum at the surface. And when they're polishing that to a mere finish, they literally are going in here and removing aluminum to get it down and get it to that absolute mere finish. And that's how they're doing it. But just touching it, just looking at it sometimes adds those little micro scratches or the moisture. I used to have a sport bike that I had the, uh, the frame polished just sitting in the garage from a cold night to a warm morning would haze that aluminum frame. And I had to go back in there with, you know, a high speed grinder with a polishing wheel on the end of it and polish it back to a, to a shine, to that mirror finish. So I just wanted to show you guys, it doesn't matter what company it is. American Force is awesome. They've got great wheels. Fuel Forge coming out with some great wheels. We got Gear Alloy Forge coming out with some great wheels. Specialty Forge has some absolute beautiful wheels. They're all in the same boat from what I've seen. Um, even the Specialty Forge, although it seems they seem to be doing a little better, I don't know if they're putting something, some sort of hardener on there or something. I don't know what they're doing. They seem to last a little bit longer without those micro scratches. But um, I, I would put all these guys in the same bucket as far as they all have the tendency to have those little um, micro scratches in there. And that's just part of running a forged aluminum wheel that doesn't have the chrome plating or, or powder coat or something to protect that aluminum. So we just want to do a shit I never knew about. When you get your wheels, don't let it ruin your entire day because they need a polishing. The guys that care, you're gonna to want to take that brand new wheel, get it mounted on the truck first because you're gonna scratch it putting it on the truck just by touching it. Once you get it all mounted up, bring it to a professional and have them go ahead and mirror finish that thing so that you can get it looking the way you want. Just know that just by driving it, that stuff's gonna come back. And if you want perfection and you have uh, OCD to an extreme like I do, I lean towards the chrome wheels because you just don't get into that with uh, chrome as much. These are high maintenance and they're, they're, they're a lifetime effort if you want them mirror finish absolute perfect. So that is shit I never knew with custom offsets. Appreciate you guys subscribing. Like I said, this is gonna happen no matter who you go with. So if you buy with us, awesome. If you don't buy with us, awesome. I'll still see you over at the truck shows and at the Walmart meets. Peace.